Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video and we are flying out the Mirage 2000 against the Kafir so let's thank our members, full crew members um, of our Lightning 11B, Cots and Crazy Boo, thank you for helping out subscribe, thank you all the Foxbat and Fishbat members and let's get into it so we are doing a best out of out of 5 in two situa situations um, the Mirage 2000 versus the Kafir to see who is the ultimate um, Delta Wing, okay? So, uh, first I am flying the Mirage, and then he's flying the, the Kafir, and then we change around later. And yeah, it's a very close duel, to be honest. Uh, and obviously, this is not a scientific way to see what's the best aircraft, but we can come to certain conclusions with it. Um, as you see, I lost the first one, but then I will basically win every single one of them after this so uh, the mirage is su way superior than the than the kafir uh even though the kafir has a lot of power and it has the canards the ability to use the slats and the power of the of the french engine is just superior to the j79 and there's not much uh, that you can say beyond that especially uh due to the kafir just not having the nose authority that the mirage has uh, to be honest, close to like 200 km per hour, 300 km per hour, the Kafir just becomes kind of a weird thing, wobbling around with, sometimes with the nose, and sometimes it's just hard to actually, um, you know, know how to shoot the gun. So you will see, for example, later, me in the Kafir missing a lot of shots. And as you see here, I'm just controlling the fight, man. I'm just keeping a line. I'm drawing basically a line behind the enemy um, to actually keep the scissors to my favor until he lost, loses uh, a certain amount of energy or he do a mistake or certain stuff like that. Because if I cut the corner and try to go for it uh, before the time, like this, see how close to overshooting I was? So, yeah, you have to actually just control the fight, and I did overshoot a little bit even. Uh, so you have to actually control the fight very, very much, because it is not something that you just have to, you know, um, play around. You really have to be careful, because the Kafir is still very, very strong uh, and very capable, but uh, you have to control the fight until he makes a mistake, and then you go for the shot. You have to just pick your, your time. The timing is the most important thing as you see here i'm far away so i can do my shot here i will not overshoot and then got him so yeah uh one to one now uh, it's a draw for now so best out of five the first to actually go to three wins uh win the match and then we're going to try it out with missiles as well uh just a little bit of weight to just you know uh, do that but as you see here just got a perfect shot on it if you had the time two to one now uh, if you have the time and you have the distance, just go for the shot. If you don't, um, just keep controlling the fight. With the Mirage, it is uh, very easy to control such a fight. Uh, just don't go for the raid fight. Uh, normally, raid fights... I mean, I think the Mirage still will be superior due to the um, superior power that the engine has. But depending on the aircraft that you're fighting, like the MLD, for example, it can be very, very dangerous to do that. Uh, so, yeah here i have the time for example i have the, the distance you know to actually go for the shot and it just missed completely but still um so i i do not need to control the fight here uh here i decided to control the fight a bit go for his tail again make him just keep on my 12 o'clock you know and then i go for the shot when i have the perfect moment you know so you just have to control the fight in the one circle especially but Still, it's a close fight, to be honest. It's very, very close. Uh, it's more due to the uh, slats, to be honest, and the superior engine than anything else. Anything else, but yeah. So the last match was the the final one on the um, you know the first uh, you know, first match, <laughs> you know. So yeah, three to one on the first one. The Mirage won. Here we have missiles, so you can use missiles. And we have also, I forgot to mention, that we have a kind of a gentleman's agreement to not go for the head-on, because uh, the head-on is just kind of a luck thing. So yeah, here, I c as you can see, I'm controlling the fight again. I see that if I go for it, I will overshoot. 
like this I can make him lose a lot more energy and not be able to put the nose on me so yeah just draw, try to draw a line behind the enemy and keep like perpendicular to the aircraft path the enemy's per, uh, aircraft path you know and you will be kind of safe uh, but you have to be careful as I said uh, the Kafir still has a lot of energy the J79 on the Kafir is one of the best J79s it is a heavy engine so you have to consider that compared to a, a, a turbofan like this but still it is um, very very close to, to the power uh, so yeah the canards as also they help a bunch uh, for the Kafir that not doesn't have the, the, the slats you know so yeah it's just a very very close fight uh, most of the time uh, one of the one of us is dying just because of a mistake, as you're going to see when I fly the Kafir. Uh, we will do a lot of mistakes with those aircraft because we kind of recorded it in the other time, uh, in another day, so yeah. But it is a very, very close fight, as you see. We are just kind of doing a scissors here, kind of. Trying to maintain a way that I can try to go just back... Um, to his tail very quickly as you see he's trying to lose energy to make him or uh, me overshoot as you see very correct thing to do that's basically what you can do in the kafir is try to just make the, the aircraft that you're fighting overshoot because the amount of energy that the kafir loses it's oof, it loses so much energy as you saw if i went for it i would have overshot and i would have would have make uh, made him uh, have a shot on me so yeah not a very good thing just return to the to the scissors trying to maintain his tail see here I'm going to try to make a shot it was successful but uh, if I didn't if I missed I mean that's the thing if you go for it you kind of have to win because if you don't you will basically have uh, he will have a chance on you so one to zero for me with the missiles with the extra weight he just stalled it out a little bit here these lads just make a difference so two out of um, out of three right you just need one more he goes for the loop but the slats man look at the slats they just work better than the canards you know if the kafir had slats it would be very very scary but with just the canards, it's it's better than a normal Mirage, but and especially with the extra power, but still it's not something like incredibly better. You know, it's just better, but not that much. Crit it. Try to maintain his tail. I just control the fight, man. The Mirage 2000 is way better at controlling the fight, so it's a way easier aircraft to just fly. It's way easier. It's not even funny on how much easier it is. Uh, even though he's critted, he's flying perfectly right now. So, yeah. Missed a completely easy shot there. Trying to go for his tail again. As you see, I overshot him again. Trying to control the fight again. Moving back to his tail on the scissors. You just have to make him have a little bit more uh, horizontal energy than you. To make him just slip into your 12 o'clock. As you see, I'm just making him have just a little bit, tiny bit of more energy, horizontal energy. Just a little bit for now. Just to control the fight, make him lose energy, or even make him have a little bit more energy than you. You can have both of these uh, can be effective. As you see, I got too much energy there, but... I ended up getting a perfect shot, missed completely. <laughs> As you see, I'm not the most experienced Mirage 2000 pilot. And overshot. So if you go for it, you have to make sure you hit the target. Because if you don't, you will give him a chance to um, to sh shoot at you. So just keep that in mind. It's always uh, one of those things. Okay, the missile there just completely weird. went weird. And then we won. So yeah. 3 to 0, Mirage 2001, both of those with the missiles and without the missiles. And here we have the same thing without the missiles with the Kafir. Uh, we are going to do a lot of mistakes here, but as you see, I just tried to turn uh, with him, but he 
just hit, oh, because of this lights it turns way better. I'm being able to pull a little bit more than him, but not by much, you know. And here I kind of went for the rate fight that wasn't kind of, I mean, I mean, it didn't have much choice, but it was kind of a mistake. And yeah, as I said, this aircraft has a very weird nose when you are flying in low, spe low speeds. And I just overdid the roll there and crashed. So my mistake, one for the Mirage. We went for it. It's going to be kind of funny because we kind of crashed a lot for some reason. We recorded in another day than the first one. So it was kind of weird. And it is just a weird aircraft. The, the Mirage 2000 actually, it is a lot smoother uh, to fly, you know. As you see here, I'm trying to control the fight the same way as I did with the Mirage 2000. Uh, so I'm being able to control it, but the thing is, I cannot pull as many um, AOA, uh, as much AOA as the as the Mirage, and with that, I kind of start to lose a little bit. As you see here, you have to control a lot more your your speed. We didn't go for the head down because obviously the gentleman's agreement. Then I kind of stalled it out the aircraft here. That's one of the problems with the Kafir. I don't know if it's because of the lower power or something like that compared to the Mirage, but the Kafir just loses a lot more energy, a lot more energy when turning. As you see here, I'm just completely got, I mean, destroyed. He has so much more energy to turn with these lats. As you see here, maneuver kill. <laughs> so yeah, one to one. Let's go again. Try to go for the the what's it called is it's a half a loop but inverted i forgot the name but still split s i think it's called but yeah went for it had a little bit more energy so i, I was able to pull a little bit more to the mirage but then you just kind of stall it out and the nose behaves so weirdly in this aircraft at low speeds it's not even funny man it's a very weird uh very weird thing as you see trying to control the energy as always the energy the horizontal energy and the scissors you know uh, try to go for it, uh, but yeah, it's it's dangerous. We are flying kind of low as well. As you see here, I don't have the ability to pull the amount of AOAs that he can pull with the canards. I mean, if he had a slat, this aircraft would be amazing, but he doesn't, so you kind of are limited so, to a certain kind of AOA. The Mario 2000 can basically choose, right, uh, if he wants to turn better or not. Um, so if it concerns, um, conserves the, the, the energy or not. But I'm still trying to, I mean, this was just a mistake. I kind of stalled the aircraft a bit in the sense of the amount of AOA that I needed. 2 to 1 to the Mirage. So as you saw, we were doing a lot of mistakes here. So it was another day and I don't know why we were just crashing a lot. Like a lot. I don't, it really doesn't make sense. But yeah, as you see, I mean... It's just problematic. I'm trying to make him lose uh, the energy, uh, or basically have more energy than me, which kind of <laughs> kind of worked, right? So two to two, but it's kind of not really a fair fight because we are always crashing. We've crashed four times. I mean, come on. And this is the last one. Who won this? Would win the match. The set, basically. Go for the scissors again. I mean, in a raid fight, I will lose to him. So the scissors is kind of the only way that I can actually win a dogfight like this uh, when not running, you know. I could run and take concern, I mean, use more of my energy. But he has, uh, I mean, he would have the uh, ability to shoot missiles, not in this match, but in the next one. And I didn't want to actually run. I tried to just focus on the dogfight itself and try to win, you know, to see if the aircraft could actually win against the Mirage. And it's, it's hard, man. It's not easy. As you see, the amount of AOA that I can pull... Look at the nose kind of kind of being weird as well. Yeah, it's a hard aircraft. And to be honest, this is kind of becoming the point of the video. To show not only that the Mirage 2000 is a superior aircraft in the sense of 1v1s like this. Kind of a unrealistic 1v1. But you can take some of the information that you can use in a battle with this. Uh, you can take that the... Kafir compared to the Mirage 2000, we lose a lot more energy. The Kafir compared to the Mirage 2000, we pull a lot less AOA. Uh, so yeah, it, 
obviously and the point of the video that I was going to talk about is that I mean I just completely made a mistake there but if I went for the raid fight I would have died anyway so yeah 3 to 2 Mirage 1 last one with the missiles extra weight uh, this was the longer dogfight that I did so yeah but the point of the, this video is not only to show that the Mirage 2000 needs obviously quote unquote counters you know it doesn't think that he, it's bluntly OP but it is an aircraft that if he wants he wins from um, against a, a Kafir it's a it's a tough aircraft to beat you know in a dogfight so yeah and we need counters technically I mean I I want the F-16A, for example, for the for the Israelis, maybe with just the, the, the Block 10s, Block 15 with just the A-9s, uh, would be nice, you know. Uh, but the Kafir also, I think, to be a comparable a top tier, I mean, it's, it is 11.3 aircraft, I think it needs new missiles, I mean, I, mean, I, I, I don't know if he used the A-9L, I guess he would use it, right? But also... The Python trees, I think it would be kind of unique to have the Python trees there. But yeah, as you see here, the Kafir can win in a Caesar fight. I just missed the shots, but uh, because of the nose, basically the nose, it's a very difficult nose to actually use. But in a general way, you can win it. But it is hard, man. You have to control your energy like no other. You have to be pre-stalling the aircraft every single turn in the, the Caesar, you know. Uh, just due to, the, to the, the Mirage being able to pull a lot more and you just have to control a lot more you know uh, the Mirage you can just fire the, the burners and just keep following the guy and stuff like that and with the Kafir you have to actually try to lose speed all the time to just uh, try to just have a moment to maybe lose a lot uh, enough energy so that you can actually have a little bit of more distance between you and the enemy to actually pull the AOA that you need to actually fight but as you see here the nose is completely dead and kind of, st kind of stalled the aircraft but I managed to basically be able to maintain its um, its tail you know but the aircraft doesn't have the energy to actually pull uh, the nose to the target so that I can actually finish the, the, the thing so I was beating him on the, the, the Caesar there but I didn't have the final nose authority to actually just kill him with the cannons, you know. Make him over, try to make him overshoot, got a little bit of energy, he would make um, uh, the mistake of trying to get more energy as well. And then he would overshoot me, but I just didn't have enough nose authority. Again, it's the main problem in this aircraft compared to the Mirage. This latch just helps a lot. And we are trying, man. We are trying to beat each other. I mean, we should have uh, done uh, like a Mirage against a Mirage to see what is the best pilot, who is the best pilot, right? We need to do one of these. So yeah, trying to make him overshoot. Again, doesn't have the nose authority to make him, to kill him. But as you see, the Kafir can win the dogfight. It's just a matter of skill and trying to use better the rudder and stuff like that to actually make you have the a little bit more nose authority to actually kill the, the target. But it is hard, it is hard. Uh, and yeah, I think, I mean, the Kafir doesn't have BBR, man, it doesn't have a Raider, it doesn't have good missiles. I mean, lower the BR or give a proper IR missile, all aspect missile to this aircraft, man, because honestly it's not worth to actually have this. It's really not worth to fly. It's a very fun aircraft and I, and I kind of enjoy flying it, but against F-14s, Mirage 2000s, MLDs, they have BVR, have better Raiders have everything, has all aspect missiles or better missiles in general and stuff like that. Yeah, A9Gs, man, in the top tier, they're not the greatest, you know. So, yeah, it's a problem, right? It is really a big problem. I tried to get him, it wasn't actually a head-on, but then became, I kind of felt bad, but I didn't get, get the guy anyway. But, yeah, it's just, this aircraft really needs some, some better missiles, man. As I said, I think the... The A9Ls should be fine because I think the Python trees are better than the A9Ls, if I'm not mistaken. But the Python trees would be kind of a a good addition just because of the um, the aircraft being like kind of unique, you know. So yeah. But then um, uh, with the missile, so one to to zero, uh, zero to one, right uh, to the Mirage, we go again. 
Remember, the Python 3s even have a proper IR CCM as well, so it would be kind of OP, but I think it would help this missile, this aircraft, a lot. Or these, or at least give the, the Israelis the F-16A with the M9Ls. It would be kind of the same type of aircraft as the Kafir, as a light fighter, kind of dog fighter, you know, but still. Uh, it would at least have a radar and all aspect missiles. And it would be a, a new aircraft, an F-16, way superior to the Kafir in the dogfight, I think, so, yeah. So, yeah, I'm trying to just stay alive, man, to be honest, because he has the energy advantage on me. He's a being able to keep on my 6, and I just cannot make him overshoot enough, so it kind of becomes kind of a big problem. Stall the aircraft, nothing you can do, and, yeah, GG. And, yeah... 0 to 2. Basically, this is the last one. We had another one that he tried to use the SB in the last one, but I'm not gonna count on that. But yeah, the last one, the Kafir is losing every single one of the fights. Doesn't matter the pilot. Even when I killed the Mirage, it was basically a maneuver kill. And he, when he killed me on the Mirage 2000, uh, it was basically due to my mistake. So it is always due to the pilot, you know, uh, most of the time. But as you see, you can see a pattern here that the Kafir is worse than the Mirage 2000. And the Mirage 2000 has Magic 2s. All aspect, 35G missiles with a minor IRCCM in the game. So, I mean, there's literally no reason to not add the Python 3s or at least the 9 ls in this aircraft. It will at least give the, the Israelis something worth the the trouble to actually research in the line because the Kafir is the ultimate aircraft that everybody gets uh, on the on the Israeli line and I mean it's worth it right it's a Mirage uh, 3 that has a F4 engine and more missiles and stuff you know but it doesn't matter much because the cannons are still the death ones they're very difficult to use at longer ranges they need to be close and personal to actually get the guy and the on I mean look at his nose authority I cannot get the target to be on my nose I just cannot so I lost so many kills there because of that I, I think it, this is one of the worst things about this aircraft the low speed kind of maneuverability and low speed kind of feeling of the of the aircraft you know as you see here we are stalling out couldn't control the aircraft the aircraft just stalled out from the other side try to maintain the energy, um, less energy than him, to try to make him overshoot, but I'm just trying as much as I can, I cannot make him overshoot, man. The amount of AOA that he can pull is amazing. I'm repeating myself, but it's just completely different. Make him overshoot a bit. I don't have the nose authority, see? The nose is just stuck there. Again, look at the nose. Just bouncing around and jumping and... You just don't have the energy, man. You really don't. And eventually, I managed to stay alive, but the engine had a flame out. And yeah, it was GG. But yeah, guys, uh, let me know in the comments. This one it was in counting. The Mirage won four of the, of the four sets that we did. The best out of fives. It won every single one of them. So yeah, it's, the Mirage is just a superior aircraft. I still think that we need... The, the Python 3s or the A9Ls to actually be competitive with this aircraft. For me, it doesn't make sense that an aircraft such as this is a top tier and it doesn't have in, doesn't have BVR, it already doesn't have BVR or radar or anything like that. The cannon is a tough cannon to use. And together with that, you don't have a proper missile to at least give you a chance like the J7 is, for example. The J7 is the same aircraft as this, for example, but it has a very, very good missile. I mean, the Kafir deserves a very, very good missile as well. Even if it's... Uh, on all aspect one. It will give the Israelis at least a very, very good top tier aircraft. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you think about this comparison. And see you guys on the next one.